in the medium term, not necessarily in the short term, in the medium term, there will be a beneficial effect of the policies uh, being promulgated and being uh, attempted by the government under uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I have been a real estate developer for the public sector. I have been urban I have been a development man all along. Though for long years I belong to a different political persuasion, I will not hesitate to say that the real estate will see a revival uh, under the smart cities program, under the urban renewal programs, housing for all, uh, the relaxation of the FDI uh, cap for real estate, and the overall growth of the Indian economy, which is second largest economy in the uh, third largest economy in the whole world, and. Uh, uh, definitely, uh, the real estate is there to stay, and it will uh, it will grow and uh, and uh, blossom in the long run. And it is a necessary part of the economy because uh, it uh, leads um, to a lot of employment and uh, and wealth creation. Well, we are a developing economy. India is growing fast. The whole world is looking towards India as an investment destination for various reasons. And uh, even now, in terms of quality and all that, in some of the areas, we are as good as any, uh, anybody else in the world. But for the bulk of the real estate business to for everything to be top class uh, European standards will take time. It is a process. Yeah. Well, uh, Indian designs and Indian architecture should be used maximum possible, but there are limitations for Indian design in um, skyscrapers and other type of structures. You know, they can only be built in a certain way. You can embellish it with some sort of Indian art, art in the internally and all that. But you cannot adapt uh, old uh, Indian traditional village type of uh, this thing to a modern urban uh, infrastructure, except in probably some form or some um, the way it is formed and in the design. You cannot completely safeguard, you, you have to have modern amenities, you have to have modern design, modern methods of construction. So it is for the Indian um, architectural brains to find out and uh, how to retain as much Indianness yeah. as possible. For any business to prosper in the long term it has to be based on a foundation of integrity. Yeah. Whatever be the sector, whatever be the laws, there will be people who will do the business honestly and with full transparency. You cannot legislate for virtue. The consumer has to be vigilant. Government can only promulgate laws, prescribe penalties, uh, uh, I mean, uh, put in safeguards and all that. It is for the uh, it is for the consumer to be very careful about before they invest. You must look at the reputation of the real estate builder. You must look at the laws. You must look at the safeguards. Uh, get, uh, get expert opinion, be aware of the uh, legal safeguards that are available and uh, be careful what else can government do. Government can only uh, legislate, there will be laws, there are law abiders and there are law breakers.